Why are you doing this, mother? I'm doing this because I want grandchildren and you must give them to me. Mother, I am working on it. Just give me time. Things would fall in place. Believe me. That time is what I don't have. You will start producing children with Christabel. What? That one? Sorry to disappoint you. You won't. I don't like her. You must like her. I don't like her. You must like her. Unless you want me to believe you don't want to give me grandchildren before I die. What are you talking about? Mom? Relax. Stop being dramatic. Nothing will happen. Okay? Relax. You know what, Mom? Just, just go in there, right? Tell her that we changed our mind, that we're not interested. I will only do that under one condition. What? That you will present a girl that will bear your children to me before the end of next week. No problem, I agree. Agreement is agreement, oh. I agree. Agreed. <laughs> How did he go, Ma? He doesn't like you. Did he say why? He didn't give me any reason. Um, can I can I speak with him? Mm. Feel free, my dear. I want him to marry you. Thank you, Ma. Thank you. he really wants. Can I... Okay. Your mom says you don't like me. Yes. May I know why, please? I don't owe you an explanation. That's Ash. We're not quarreling besides. I just want to know why you don't like me. I walk away. Okay, okay. Sorry, listen. I'm sorry I... It came out that way. But it's not like I really don't like you. It's okay. I bear no grudges. I just want to know why you don't like me. I have someone else. That, that's why. It's not like I don't like you. It's just that I have someone else. How's market? Fine, thank you. Thank God. Uh, see you. <laughs> uh, smiling all the time. Okay, today I want um, pineapples, big one. Okay, sir. Big one, sir. Three. Okay, sir. Yeah.
please just help me in the car. Okay, sir. your call. The call, eh? I'll call you. Is that a promise? It's a promise. It's a promise. I'll call you. <laughs> Thank I'll you, sir. You. you take care now. Eh? Thank you, sir. <laughs> Bye, sir. Doubt this man likes you, <laughs> Mary. Please don't try to make me start thinking beyond my capacity. Biko, well, from what I have seen so far, he really likes you. Trust me, yes, Mary. I'm here. Mary. I'm here. Mary, my name. <laughs> Our pilot is a pilot that flies around the world. He has seen women of class and caliber. Mm. There is no way, like, there is, it's not even possible. Wait, they got them. Under what condition do you think that man would like a common fruit seller like me? Beauty, they said, is in the eyes of its beholder. I know you wouldn't believe me. That man really likes you. Mm. I'm telling you the truth, he likes you. Ah. Mwana, no wahala. But please, thank you. Keep your advice to yourself. Don't make me start thinking beyond my capacity, oh? You Don't raise to. my hopes. You need to because, because I, know, I know you are not seeing what I'm seeing. Because I'm because huh? You need to see what I'm saying. So the way that man is looking hey, hey, at you. Hey, Mary, leave me huh? alone. Leave Every me. Every time when he comes, we'll be buying something I'm from like, you. Leave me, Joe. You are trying to raise my hopes. Just back. your son. But if that is the case, ma'am, I will tell you that I do not have any good news for you. Have you made any effort to reconnect with him? So many times, ma'am. I have lost count on the number of times I tried. But it appears to me as if he has this natural hatred for me. Because the more I try, the more he, he declines. Really getting me frustrated. Based on your experience where you were living with him, do you think there's any possible means to get his attention again? With what I know of him, he is a man, a disciplined man who can never be controlled by his emotions. He can said to be a perfectionist because he can never indulge in anything without being very sure. 
a woman like you, with all the gift God has endowed you with, you don't underestimate the power of a woman. Mom, I am not underestimating my power as a woman. You just need to understand that we are up against a man who visibly lives above the emotion women invoke. He's not just interested. Are you going to give up? Look at him one more time. He's the exact kind of man you need. Just push harder. You will have him. I can only try this one more time because of you, ma'am. But you need to know that your son is a very difficult person. So difficult. Please don't give up. You can reconnect with him. And when it happens, it will be permanent. You know, I always feel satisfied and warm. Yeah, you give me that satisfaction I need. Take you to paradise. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. And back home. Uh huh. And keep wanting more. Oh my and more. god. And more. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're the machine. The lion himself. Really? Of course. I never knew I was really satisfying you. That's what I'm telling you. You really do satisfy me more than any man I've ever met. I feel like a oh, okay. But that's what you <laughs> are. That's what you are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I satisfy you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I hope we keep doing this. I can't tell you. Don't worry. Are you sure? As long as you love it. Of course I do. I'll give it to you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, um, oh. it's like they put your order. Oh, okay. Let me get it. Okay. Let me get it. Let me get it. Let me get it. Hold on. Excuse me. Okay. Oh, what? Just 
one more hand. How did that guy even get here? Hello, businesswoman. How are you doing today? What? Wait. Gerard was caught in a hotel room with a married woman. How? Oh, no, 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 no. This is the height of it. This is the height of it. What is wrong with Jared? Oh, jeez. Sounded devastated over the phone, and I am hearing you. You look totally devastated. What is it? Humphrey. Humphrey. She has been. She has been. Cheating on me. Who has been cheating on you? What are you talking about? Wife, I'm free, my wife. Uh, look, 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 Jay, 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 Jay. Now, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't play with things like this, okay? Do you have your facts? Are they just mere accusations? Do you, do you have proof? I'm free. My instinct. My instinct pushed me to go out. And lay my hands on something. I followed that up. Guess what, Humphrey? I got. Humphrey got her pants down in the hotel room with her lover. Ah. Oh. Jay, Jay, Jay. I know. I know this feeling. Okay. But listen, you have to comport yourself. You do. You need to get yourself together. Jay, Jay. You don't understand. I understand. I know what you Guy, guy. You don't know the pain I'm feeling right now. Jay, Jay, Jay. Jay, Jay, Jay. Jay, 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 I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, easy, 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 I'm here, I know that you're hurt, but this is not the end of the world, okay, okay, just, just, just calm down, just calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down, take it easy, take it easy, yeah, I'm here, I'm here. guy, 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 Lara, I blame you for all this. First, you didn't play your card well. And secondly, you would have been double sure if your husband was traveling or not. And finally, I've advised you to end extramarital affairs for you with the rest. Look at it. Please. Anya didn't bring you here for you to blame me. Lara. 
I will tell you the truth. Now that your marriage is at the verge of collapsing. Ah, God forbid. God, for, God, God forbid. forbid. I pray too, God forbid. I pray he forgives you because you're the architect of your own problem. Annie, I don't like it when you sound like this. <laughs> I don't. Lara, <coughs> I will tell you the bitter truth. Because you're my friend. I can't lie to you. <sighs> Annie, I brought you here so that we can find a solution to this problem, Annie. Annie, please, I beg you. Okay, fine. So bring your own suggestion. Eh? Hey, bring your own suggestion. Hey! Annie, I'm finished. 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 Annie, you know, this, this is it. This is the reason I cannot have myself involved with the woman to, to the point of marriage. This is it. The research has shown that 55% of children born in too many homes do not belong to the men who walk around town parading themselves as a biological father. That's not true. What do you mean? What I mean is simple. Extramarital affairs on the part of today's women is on the rise. Jay, would you believe if I tell you that 83.5% of my women right now, they cheat? Oh yes, they cheat. Look, they go as far as getting pregnant sometimes for this lousy boyfriend to death and then put the child on the mat. Women are evil. False. True. Not all of them, but most of them. I agree. And it, it, just, it, it, it scares me. Hmm? By the way, what, 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 what did you do to Lara and, and, and the young man? Nothing, nothing. I, I'm nothing. Confirming what I went there to see. Bro, I peacefully and quietly walked out of the hotel room. <laughs> Another reason I cannot do this. No, 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 no. I cannot have a woman in my house as my wife and let this happen. Bro, if, if, look, if, if reverse were the case, Right now, you'll be coming to bail me at the police station because either Lara or that young man, somebody right now will be lying in, in, in mortuary. But that wouldn't solve the problem. It will not solve the problem. Yes, I agree. But both of them right now will be in the emergency unit of the hospital. They will know that they touched the tiger's tail. Go to the, uh, the malady faker. How can she insult you like that? Look, I know how you feel. I'm not trying to, you know, you know, walk you up. But this is just so painful and heartbreaking. But calm down, though. Calm down. Walk through this. Where have you been? I need to do something now. <laughs> Before I forget, has he called? Who? Oka Pilot, has he called? <laughs> Mary! Eh? How did you know Oka Pilot was going to call me? Because I cannot remember discussing that with you. Well, I heard it when he said he's going to call you. <laughs> Mary! This goes to say that you've been eavesdropping on me and our pilot's conversation. Yes, so I have. Because I wanted to work out between the two of you. Can go as again. Our pilot is just my customer. He likes to buy food from me. No strings attached. Giko, mm. anyways, <laughs> I just came here to ask you or to tell you that if he doesn't call, you can pick your phone and call him. Are yes. you for real? Call him. Do the calling yourself. Hey, are you sure? I am working on something. Something really huge. And when it matures, you will be shocked. Millicent. Why are you mimicking our last meeting? Gerard, I am mimicking you. Because I have seen exactly what you have been planning. What is even wrong with you? Millicent, I'm sorry. Eh? Please, don't think it like that. It was a mistake and it could happen to anybody. Don't even give me that. Because it's not possible to see a decent man caught part down with a married woman. 
You know what, Gerard? You are leaving my house today. And if you leave, don't ever come back. Millie. Millie, what did you just say? You heard me. And I mean every word of it. You have wasted my time and it has ended. Go in there, pack whatever thing you came with. If at, all, if at all you have any, you are leaving my house. This minute! Please, 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 please. Just forgive me, please. Gerard! See, Pharaoh, if you are here to make a case for Jared, I will advise you don't even start because he's gone and gone forever. Why should I make a case for Jared? He has been a time bomb waiting to explode. And he finally exploded and tore himself into smithereens. Now that you have sent him out, don't you think he can gang up with the people of his make and come violently against you? And that would be the reason I'll send him to prison. I have tried everything possible to change him for good. But it's obvious Gerard has no class. He has no class? And we have been dating him all this while. Wait, Fever, what are you insinuating? See, Gerard is a forgotten story. Okay? Go. That Lara misbehave doesn't mean every other woman will misbehave. Oh, please, oh, forget it, please. All women are the same as far as I'm concerned. Enough. I'm a woman. You don't say such thing about women when you are in my presence. Well, I don't say such things about women when I'm in your presence. But that suggests that we should sweep what have just happened. I've had a carpet, Mom. Like, you're not fleeing with me in this conversation. Huh? I just said that Lara is one woman out of many out there. She has a life to live. Is that so? Okay. Fine. No problem. Jeremy, my friend, is seeking advice on what had just happened, Mom. He needs someone to tell him what to do. What do I say to him? Bring him to me. Back to our discussion before you diverted. Oh, yes. There are still good ladies out there that will make good wives. Do you want me to arrange one for you? Uh, 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 uh. No more. Ba, 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 ba. Please, please. Ba. Thank you very much. Thank you. My friend, will you start down? I have good news. Hmm? Good news, my friend. Good news? Uh -huh. You know I like good news, so hit me. What is it? I have two girls for us. One for you and one for me. Polo! Uh. <laughs> oh, Polo, me too. You know that uh, our guy is still around. He has no travel. Forget him. Those girls, they on standby. Uh -huh. eh? Once or a guy, you know, once yeah, like or once. <laughs> you understand by? My God! <laughs> My God, see her. Now today, ah! eh? you will know that I'm a very bad man. Uh, what about uh, Evelyn and uh, Priska? Bad vibe. Bad guy! In a big game, Bad guy! In a big game, In a big game, my vibe! I like this one. Hi. Polo, Polo. Hi. Polo, Polo, you follow, you follow your face, sure. Hi. Hi. Better celebration, no, but I hope saying that you go pay or you go be, I don't get money. <laughs> don't have money to spend on all these kind of things.
Hi, Jeremy. What are you doing here? Please, can you calm down? Let's talk. I want both of you out of my house this minute. My love, my husband, please. Please just hear me out. Who did you call your husband? Who? Jeremy, please. Please. We are here for peace. Let's just talk. She's your wife, no matter what it is. Do I expect you to say something otherwise? After a both of you are best of same feather that flock together. That Excuse flock together. me? I said both of you are best of same feather that flock together. I want both of you to get out of my house this minute. No! Jeremy. If not for one thing, I won't take that. Please, we are here for peace. Pico. I will ask you for the last time. What are you doing in my house? Jeremy, Jeremy, please, I beg you. I beg you, please. I, I, I know how you feel. And I know that anyone in your position will feel the same. But please, calm down. My love, please, it's me. It's me, please. Just let me explain. I do not need any explanation from you because I know what I saw. Get out of my house now. Please, please, please. my love, please. Both of you should leave my house this minute. I am not going anywhere until you listen to me, please. I beg you. Please, please, please. Wait for me, I'm coming. Jeremy, please. Please. Oh. I'm finished. I'm finished. I'm finished. I'm finished. So why would he block me? Maybe he has gotten what he wanted. No, Paul is not that kind of a man. Mm. And all of a sudden, you can't reach him on all social media platforms where you've been communicating with him. Babes, I don't know. Maybe he lost his phone or something else. <laughs> he lost his phone or something else. Really? Babes, please, just stop this topic. Please, just end it. Don't judge him. You, you never can tell. Maybe something bad has happened to him. Hmm, something bad has happened. Have go. Something bad has happened to him. Lara. Lara. You know you are the reason I am taking this insult. I will never take it from anyone. And you know it. Annie. I am the bone of contention here. So why are you talking about yourself? Did you hear what your husband called us? Beds of same feather. I am so angry. You know I'm not like that. I am not. So, what are you insinuating? Lara, based on what you did, he's possibly feeling that I will do the same. You and I know I will never cheat on my husband. Never! Never! Oh, Annie, please. 
Don't even open that discussion with me because you know that I know you in and out. Yes, I know you have so many boyfriends more than anyone I know. So please, you don't even have the moral edge to talk to me like that. So stop it. Lara, <laughs> did you hear what you call them? Boyfriends. They are not my husband. And if paraventure I get married, I will never read my lips, cheat on my husband. Can you please just take me out of here? I'm losing my head before I say something that I will regret. Please, I will do just that. But can I tell you the truth? What truth is that? Good. I think you need to travel to the village and trace the root of your problem. Mm. You need to. How do you mean? My darling, look at the man you married and the fool you were dying for. <laughs> My dear, there's no comparison. It means there is a problem and you need to trace it from the roots. <sighs> you know, somehow I think you were right. I am all. <laughs> please, can you just, just take me out of here, please? Please. Let's go. Sh Do you always do this? What did I do? You know, coming into the kitchen, talking to the wife as she cooks is something most men will never do. But you do it often and it's... I should tell you that I'm different from every other man. You see, I am me and your happiness is my project. Oh. Go ahead. Do what you're doing. I am here observing the angel that I married. My love. My love. You are the exact man I prayed for. Honestly, you are an answered prayer. And I will forever love you. Saying it is actually different from doing it. How do you mean? The vow we made before the people is entirely different from the vow we can make to ourselves here. I fear you should make a vow to me. Make a vow to you? Yeah. What vow? I will never, never, ever betray our love, no matter the temptation. I will never, ever look at any other woman in a way that you'll be offended or break your heart. I want you to make this vow to me. Oh, come on, my love. You know me. And you know I love you so, so much. I vow on the purity of my soul that you are the man. And you will always be the man. She violated everything. 
and killed me from this soul. I'm very fine, Oga Pilot. How are you, Oga Pilot? That's good. That's very good. So now that I have called you, I have fulfilled my promise. I've called you. Uh, what are you going to give to me? Oga Pilot, what can I possibly give you that will match up your standard? Ah, uh, don't even say that. Listen, as long as it's coming from you, it's, it's fine. Uh, what can you give? Okay. Mention what you want, and if I can afford it, I'll give it, sir. Ah, okay. Uh, let's see. How about you come by my place this weekend? Come see me. What? You said that whatever it is that I ask, you do. Right? So, weekend. Hello, are you there? I will try, sir. I'll try. It's not a promise. Okay, I'll come. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. And how is the best mom in the world doing today? How are you, son? I'm okay, mom. Just um, checking to see how you're firing. I'm good. I'm just checking up on you. And also to remind you of the promise you made to me. I did not forget, mom. I, I, I did not forget. I'll keep my promise. Better. Because if you don't, I will make a decision on your behalf. And you won't say no to me this time. Relax, mom. You won't get to that point. Then do the needful. <laughs> this woman. This woman. Uh.
Who is there? It's me, Joma. Hold on, I'm coming. Bring down your voice, eh? Paul is not around. What He's do you mean I should bring down my voice? This is Paul's house, and I want to see Paul now. Paul, Paul, I know you're there. Paul, Paul, I can see you. Something's out. Paul, what is this? Shut. Andy! Sir! Open that gate. Sir, don't worry, I'm taking care of it. I'm in charge! Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How can I help you? My name is Ijoma. I know you might not remember me. But I know you. You are Jeremy. And I'm, and I'm here to see you. Come in. If I repeat myself, Andy, you lose your job. Yes, sir. I am a very private person. But it is not on any record that I'm involved in any political outing. Well, I'm sorry, sir, but I never said I'm here for anything politics. So what do you want from me? I wanted you to do me a favor by talking to someone on my behalf. But at the look of things, you don't seem to be happy. Please, can you share with me what the problem is? Yeah, don't, don't worry, I am I'm fine. I'm fine. Just tell me who you want me to talk to. I, I will do that for you. It is someone very close to you. But with the look of things, with your current mood, you can't. I can't. Just... No, you can't. Tell me, I... I, I, I... Is this poison? Are you trying to commit suicide? Who is she? I don't know. She just ran into this place. She don't know me? Oga, see, I don't know who you are. But this minute, I want to see Paul, my boyfriend. I know he's in there. Please, you people should go and call him for me. I want to see him. Uh, your Paul's... Get me Paul. Go and call Paul! Sir, Paul is not around. He went to the market to buy food stops. Oh, I, I remember I sent him out. That's okay. true. Yes, sir. Uh, young lady. You mean this is not Paul's house? <laughs> um, this is my house. Um, Paul works for me. Is there a problem? Okay. Paul lied to me. 
God deceived me that he is the owner of this house. And this fool slept with my girlfriend. Um, I, th that's enough. Don't, don't do that. Don't, don't do that. Um, calm down. I think I have an idea. But, but you know what? I'll ask that you leave for now. I'll handle this. Okay. I, I think I know what just happened, but I'll take care of it. Please. I promise you. Please. Thank you, sir. Sir. Sir, please, can I go and lock the gate? Get on your knees. Get on your knees. Remember, until Paul returns. What happened? Come on, talk to me. Why do you want to take your life? She cheated on me. But it's not enough for you to want to kill yourself. I love her. I love her so much. I did everything humanly possible to, to make her happy. But she ended up cheating on me. Even at that, it's still not enough reason for you to want to kill yourself. There's a reason for everything. What could be her reason? Tell me, what could be her reason? That I do not know. But you have to let it slide like it never happened. Cheer up and move on with your life. That would be so difficult for me to do. Very, very difficult. It can be easy. I understand. But your life is more important now than any other thing. Please. So I travel out of the country to work. I travel out of this country to work. And you too, turn my house to a playground for your rendezvous. The two of you bring women into my house. You bring your friends to this house to come party here. Are you out of your minds? Huh? We are sorry. Yes, yes. Sorry, sorry. Please forgive us. To not happen again. Do I not treat you too right? I, I, I love the both of you. Like my own blood. I treat you too. Like we're siblings. And I travel out to work and you do this. And hear me and hear me now. The next time this happens. You not only lose your job. But I have the both of you reprimanded. In the police custody before I throw you out. It's not temptation. Sorry, sir. What is wrong with both of you? Out! Imagine the auctions. Uh, Mom. Um, you remember that we talked and I told you that I'll find her someday. And when I do, I'll come present her to you. I'm trying to understand what you're saying. Who are you presenting to me? Aha. Uh -huh. Right here. Come on, say hello to my mom. Good evening, mom. <laughs> Her name is Juliet, mom. Um, the one that I have chosen to carry my 
my children. Mom. This thing. This thing? This thing to bear my grandkids. Oh, you know, son, you're joking. <laughs> Mom. 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 I'm not joking, I'm serious. I'm not here so that you can influence my decision. No, I am here because I promised you that I will keep you posted as regards all that is going on in my life. That's why I'm here. Stop embarrassing my guest. Biamo, teacher. Listen to me. I don't care what he might have told you. You're hearing from me now. You don't fit in to my family standard. Do you get me? You don't Mother. What? Mom. I'm not going to let you make this young lady feel bad. No. It is not in your place to choose for me. <laughs> 